So our next guest is Teresa. And in 2008, she had a brain tumor and was later diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Her treatment lasted 12 long years. And during her treatment years, she had over 30 MRIs with contrast medium gadolinium and was later diagnosed with gadolinium toxicity. And so here to tell us about her journey with gadolinium toxicity is Teresa. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome Hi, to the call. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Okay. Well, it all started back like um, Dr. Dory had mentioned, I had a brain tumor. Um, it was a meningioma, which was non-cancerous. And over the course of 12 years, I had quite a bit of um, treatment. Um, every time I had an MRI, I ended up getting a um, injection, IV injection, and it just kept giving me more and more. Well, the first three months, I believe I probably already had 10 um, MRIs. And by the time the time went on, probably about maybe four or five months into my journey, um, I'd had my tumor removed, but then I started getting really, really sick, started getting super, super depressed, feeling really um, lethargic a lot. I felt um, just so heavy. And actually I was in a mode of, um, at one point I was ready to go and commit suicide. I was actually had everything arranged in my home, had my jewelry box out, marked everything and I don't have a lot of jewelry, but what I did, I wanted to make sure that the people had it. I didn't have a will at that time, um, but I had marked out who got what and then went out and sat on a log in the, in the woods and cried a lot. And it was just really, really kind of devastating for me. Well, I thought, nope, I can't do this because I know God has a, has a journey for me. And it was by the grace of God that I did walk out of that woods and not gonna lie. It started out, my pain level was over. I mean, I can't even give you a number. I mean, the pain just was so severe. The headaches were so bad. I started noticing colors and different colors in my skin. I started growing different growths on my face. Um, I just, it was just devastating because like I said, I could not get my health back and it was just, my eyes would get real red and they would um, seep like gritty, grindy stuff out of them. They would get red and bloodshot. I couldn't hardly see, my vision changed. My whole personality, to be honest, changed. And as the years go by, here it is, we're gonna take you to 2015, I was so sick i had already been diagnosed with that brain tumor, like I said, had it removed, had a thyroid cancer. And I believe that the thyroid ended up um, getting removed and things got really bad after so many MRIs. So they, I got rid of all of that. Well, the doctors couldn't really distinguish if it was the thyroid, if it was the, they said I was having seizures and all, I mean, it, was, it just, the list goes on. But anyhow, I went to a naturalist and he gave me, I couldn't, I mean, a handful of supplements. And it, I probably lived like that for probably about maybe a year. No difference. It was no difference. Um, and I just kept, you know, doing what I could do to get me through to the next step. Well, then I moved here to Nashville, Tennessee. And it seemed like that the weather changed a little bit for me. And it was really nice. And I was around my grandchildren and it seemed I was pretty happy for the most part, but not really. But the pain was the worst thing for me. It went down into the tissues, into the bone, and it just felt like you couldn't touch me or I would break. That's how much pain I was in. And the thoughts of suicide would pop up every now and then again. And it just, I had a miserable life. Well, going on to um, I tried different shakes. I tried liver cleanses. I tried kidney cleanses. I even tried a different zeolite. And the zeolite, uh, that was really, really bad. 
for me. It was so bad. It w- I mean, and I'm just going to tell you, this is in my testimony. I just would make sure you know what you're taking. Clean slate is clean. But this zeolite that I took, it about killed me. I was ready to go to the hospital thinking that I was having um, either kidney stones or something, but it was just so painful. I was up all night long. And so um, Kathy Jo, which is here, she called me and she says, hey, Teresa, I got something for you to try. She goes, I want, you know, this is really working. It's helping getting toxins out, helping getting heavy metals out. And I said, um, what is it? She says, well, it's a, it's a zeolite. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. So I said, no. And during that time of about 30 days or so, I was so miserable with pain, with just brain fog and just not being able to know where I was at from one minute to the next. And, and I had a lot of response. I have a lot of responsibilities with taking care of grandkids clean, and doing all kinds of stuff. So I couldn't think from one minute to the next what I was doing. So I decided, okay, Kathy, I'm, I'm giving in. I'll try it. Because at that point, I was pretty, pretty, pretty desperate. And um, so I called her. And she said, okay, just, you know, she showed me exactly what to do. She's been there with me. So I signed up. I got my bottle. I was so excited to get the bottle. And I took, um, actually, I took three drops. And I thought, oh, I can't do that. So I backed off to two. I was on two drops for probably about a month, maybe a month and a half to two months. And every time I tried to get to that third drop, I just started getting some pains and just some discomfort. So I backed off, went and stayed on it. And then it just, I thought, okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to go to that third drop. Then zero in came in and actually zero in help me to cope with all of the discomfort that I was actually going through. So not only is it help you keep focused, it actually helps you stay focused and concentrate. And then believe it or not, I think it really kind of helped me a little bit with my pain. Well, about probably two months to two and a half months in, I was feeling amazing. I thought, holy moly. This is just, I've not felt like this in years and years. And the pain was going away and I wasn't getting those headaches and I was able to focus on what I was doing. And I'm gonna just tell you guys, I am so over the top with this stuff. I don't miss a dose. I'm, I might miss a pill, but I do not miss a dose of clean slate because I just, matter of fact, I'm now on 10 and 10 and loving it. And every now and then in the mid afternoon, I may take about three or four drops just because I guess I tell myself, I just want to get rid of this stuff out of me. So that's kind of what, what it is, but I am, I'm, it's, it's changed my life. I have my life back. I feel like I've been back to where the brain tumor started and I am moving forward. Now I do, um, I do all kinds of stuff. I clean houses and I can, stand up, stand, the stamina, I clean them, and I'm a very good cleaner, I'm a nanny, and I am en route, so it is just simply amazing, Clayton, I just want to thank you, and Dory, I want to thank you for having me, and this has been an amazing journey for me, it has definitely given me my life back to where I can actually feel like I am a human being again, so I just want to thank you, yeah. Ruining my beginning of the day. I, <laughs> there's there's a couple comments that are sharing the same things because I'm trying to hold back tears right now. And I know that there's a few people who aren't. Um, by the way, your hair looks freaking amazing. I know. You. I was and looking you know at that too. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I was going to mention that too. My hair was actually falling out and it got super, super thin. And just within a couple of months, I mean, it is thick and it is just, I mean, I love it. It looks, I mean, I've always had long hair, but I was ready to get it all cut off because I couldn't, it was getting frizzy and ugly. <laughs> so there, there's a project that I want to do with you. Okay. Because there's, there's an individual, um, so her story, I think they came out with her story two years ago. Uh, and her husband is known for being able to solve any problem on earth 
His name is Chuck Norris. I tried to reach out, believe it or not, I tried to reach out to his wife. Because Christy because is actually suing a couple pharmaceutical companies because of this exact issue. Oh, yeah, yeah there's some huge years, lawsuits right now. And I've had so many, uh, over the last few years, I get so many emails from people asking about gadolinium toxicity. Um, well, the muscle and also the muscle spasms and the tingling and all of that, the, the neuro part of all of this is just, it, it, it all, all of that has went away completely. I don't feel any of those. Um, I don't get hit. It's, it's just been, I, I mean, you, this product has been my savior. 